Hey guys, so this video is going to show all of the features the second generation Lexus IS came with. Uh, mine is a Japanese spec model, so I'll be talking in particular about those, the features that the Japanese model came with, but most of them will apply to the US and other markets as well. So I'm going to start off with talking about the seats. So the seats are a 10-way uh, adjustable powered uh, front seats. They are also heated and ventilated. It wasn't very common back in 06 to have ventilated seats as well. So the 3-series and the C-Class and the A4, I don't think any of them came with ventilated seats back then. Um, they also have uh, memory seat options as well. So this has got three positions that you can set, both for the driver and the passenger, which again, many cars back then only had the driver's side memory seat positions. They also remember the steering wheel position and the side view mirror position as well. It's quite handy because of course when you jump into your car you don't want to have to configure you know all the mirror settings and all of the everything and get this to the right height and, and so forth. You want to jump in and have everything set to go just the way that you like it when you drive. The, the key fob also can be assigned to a memory seat position and so say if you and your partner drive your car you can assign your uh, seat and steering wheel and side view mirrors and program your particular key fob to that and your partner can do the same with a different seat position so whether she unlocks the, the car or whether you unlock the car the seat will, and the steering wheel and the side view mirrors will start to move to the position that you usually have it in which is another really cool feature a hidden gem that many owners don't even know about also standard on the IS is the uh, keyless entry with the key fob here so you just touch the door handle and the car unlocks and once you're in you just hit the start stop button put your foot in the brake and as you notice the power um, tilt and telescopic steering wheel automatically moves forward the funny thing with the keyless entry system is that at the time the mercedes c-class audi a4 and the uh, bmw 3 series they all had keyless entry right but the problem is that they only had keyless entry but not keyless start stop which is kind of dumb because it means even though you don't need to take your keys out to unlock the car, once you're in the car, you have to get your keys out anyway to turn the engine on. So what's the point if you have to get the keys out of your pocket anyway? So the Lexus at that time was one of the very, very few cars that had keyless entry but also keyless start-stop, which means you can actually leave the keys in your pocket the entire time. If you look in the gauge cluster here, I can set a speed limit, say I wanted to set it around there, and it will light up when I hit that speed. And equally on the other side, on the tachometer, I can also set a particular value here, say if I set it at 3000 RPM, this will light up at 3000 RPM. Another really cool little nifty feature, when you're driving you don't want to look down and see if you're speeding over the limit, so it will light up for you and at the corner of your eye you can already tell if you're speeding or not. outside air temperature I've got the range average fuel economy as well as my fuel economy since I've last uh, fueled up current fuel usage average speed gear position the three and a half liter models of the IS have these huge four piston uh, front brakes which are incredible in fact there's not many cars that come out with this sort of spec that have such big brakes and they are absolutely incredible powerful brakes the car also has um, parking sensors, as you can see here, they're on, but they can be turned on and off. The car also has got automatic uh, window wipers, so when it starts to rain, it, it detects the water on the windshield and will start to wipe by itself. And you can set how sensitive it is on the left hand uh, stalk. Also standard is the paddle shifters. The side view mirrors and the uh, centre rear view mirror also have an automatic dimming mode where they will dim when there is you know, a car behind you with really bright lights, which is quite handy, obviously, at night time. They also can defrost. They will heat up. So when it's snowing or when it's really cold, that'll help you uh, see out of your side view mirrors without having to pull the window down and you know, dry it by hand. It also has a powered rear sunshade. So if I press this button over here, the rear sunshade goes up. And if I put the car into reverse, it automatically goes down as well. 
all the windows are fully automatic and if I'm outside the car I can use the key fob to close and open all the windows and the sunroof if you have one as well by holding down the lock and unlock buttons. When you put the car into reverse the wing mirrors pop down automatically to assist you in parallel parking the car and then when you put it back into park or out of reverse they pop back to their original position. The reverse camera pops up and it also has trajectory lines to show where you will be. This car has also got a parallel parking mode. This is currently set for perpendicular par parking mode, but if I tap this button here, it tells me how it will assist me in parallel parking the car. So I tap on that, and if I turn the wheel, I can put the car exactly where that green square is. And then it will then talk me through the appropriate steps to get to that parking spot right there as well. The entertainment system also has a hard drive based system where you can put music on and uh, rip CDs to the hard drive. Um, this particular model also has a six disc DVD changer as well. And the Japanese model also has TV, although it doesn't work in New Zealand because we have digital instead of analog TV signals here. The stock sound system is a 13 speaker uh, sound system with a inbuilt sub in the rear deck and it sounds absolutely incredible. For those who are more musically inclined, there's also an upgraded Mark Levinson 14 speaker sound system. And it has got uh, better Mark Levinson speakers, it's got a more powerful amp, and it also has the, uh, speakers in slightly different locations as well. But there's otherwise, there's, there's three speakers in each door, as well as two in the deck, and the subwoofer in the deck, and a center channel speaker as well. And the center channel speaker makes a huge difference to the sound stage uh, that you're trying to create uh, with the acoustics in a car, which, is, which can be quite difficult. So it's an incredible uh, sound system. Uh, also has 7.1 surround sound as well when you are watching DVDs in your car. The sound system feature for me is quite an important upgrade. All the previous cars that I've owned, I've put my own sound systems and I've bought you know, amplifiers and head units and speakers and all that, um, but they never quite sound that great um, because you've got to consider the acoustics of the car. Some car doors vibrate really badly, right? But the thing with the sound system here is that the, the chief designer of the IS is actually an audiophile, right? He's somebody who really appreciates good sound quality. And for that reason, they actually designed the IS cabin. It was designed, the shapes, the materials are designed to improve the, the acoustics of uh, the sound cabin. And so you've got, uh, from, this, from, from the very beginning, they've got a really good platform to start creating this really good sound quality system. So I have uh, had, this is the first car that I've had where I have not upgraded and touched the sound system. By default, the stock sound system is really, really good. Um, the door storage compartments can pop out and so you can fit larger items and larger bottles as well. The glove box also hides another handy feature as well where what you can do is you can open it here and it has kind of like a, a valet parking mode where you have your key and what you can do is you can inside here you can press a button that completely locks the, uh, the trunk of the car. And then once you've pressed that button, the, the trunk cannot be opened at all unless you have this button unpressed. Then what you do is you close the glove box, and then using the mechanical key in the key fob, you can then lock the glove box so everything inside your trunk is kept safe. There's also a Bluetooth calling function as well. If I tap on this button here, then on my uh, head unit, I can see my contacts that I can call, and I can simply tap on a number and it will begin calling. Standard on the IS is cruise control. However, some models have the upgraded pre-collision system, which gives you a radar to use with your cruise control. And what that means is that you can set a, a distance between your car and the car in front of you, and the car will maintain that distance and not go over the desired speed limit that you've set on the cruise control. If I press this button here, it turns on the cruise control, and then it says the radar is ready for use. And then with this button here, I can set the distance between myself and the car in front of me. The 
car also has puddle lights, which are these lights that appear underneath the side of your mirrors when you approach a vehicle. There are these really nice uh, map lights, reading lights above um, the, the main four seats in this car, which makes it a bit nicer to read uh, your little thing without disturbing the rest of the cabin. There are also uh, coat hangers in the back seats. Another really nice little subtle feature is that the, uh, the footwells in the front are lit the entire time. And they're very dimly lit, so they're not too bright. But when you put the car into park, the lights light up even brighter to help you find things that could be near your feet in the footwell. Some models came with illuminated scuff plates and they are usually white, however my ones are blue. You can get a sunroof as an optional extra, however my car does not have one in it. Both the driver and the front passenger have vanity mirrors in the sun visor, uh, which light up as well when you open the mirror up. Now a lot of cars have that on the passenger side, but not many have that on both the driver and the passenger side. It also has rear seat vents for the rear seat passengers. Although it's not really a feature, this car does have a incredible turning radius. And if you look here in the street, I'm going to make a U-turn in one go. So that completes the list of all the features that this car came with, at least the, the Japanese spec model. This is not a, a review on the car itself, this is just a list of the features. I've got another video which talks more about the performance aspect uh, and other uh, parts of the car as well. That is down in the description below, so you can watch the full review on this car. But I hope this at least gives you an idea of all the features this car came with. And I think personally, it's quite impressive to think about the amount of features this car had way back in uh, 06 when this car first came out and how many cars today are still finally getting these features that this car had uh, you know, more than 15 years ago now. So I hope you found this video useful and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.